taken the trigger gun apart so that you can see the internal components and the areas that require the lubrication periodically. There's a, the center shaft fits into the gun like this. So these two O-rings right here, they move up and down the center shaft frequently. This is the part that needs the lubrication to keep the gun uh, moving freely. This is the kit. When you end up uh, requiring a new set of seals, spring, pin, and center shaft, complete with O-rings. You might get a full year out of these seals. Once again, though, it goes back to the chemistry that you're using or the chemicals and how uh, toxic they may be or just surely the use from the day-to-day -day servicing. The kit comes with the center shaft complete with the seals already mounted to it and a brand new spring. What ends up happening is this shaft just goes into the center of the trigger gun here and needs to be pushed in and inserted. You need to give it a little bit of a push to make sure that it goes through all the way. Like so. Once you've got it there, then the spring goes in here. That's what actually gives you your movement of the trigger gun. Each of the kit comes with the pins and springs that I just noted. And the, this pin slides through the handle and couples the whole gun back together. Using a pair of needle nose pliers, just grab the shaft and turn it straight so that when you line up the handle, it moves freely into the slot. Now that the shaft has been centered so that the handle can line up, what I'm gonna recommend is if you've got a vise in the shop, it makes this whole operation just a lot smoother because you're holding the gun firmly while you place the handle back on and in place. But all you want to do is make sure that the teeth of the red shaft line up to the gun and then there's a pin that gets put in here. This is where you need the vise just to hold that firmly and tap that in. And that's basically what happens here. And I've already done it just by hand, but if that was in a vise, then I would just give that a light tap to push it in the rest of the way. And you've now serviced the gun.